tonight I would like to <coughs> greet all the church and the ones that are visiting us and as well the the ones that are watching us through the media. I greet you all with the glorious peace of the Jesus Christ. And I invite you to have your Bibles to open in the book of Leviticus, chapter 25. Leviticus, chapter 25. The Word of God says as follows. So we're going to start reading on the verse 10. And you shall consecrate the fifth year and proclaim liberty through all, throughout all the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be jubilee for you. And each of you shall return to his possession, and each of you shall return to his family. The fifth year shall be a jubilee to you, and you shall neither sow nor reap what grows of its own accord, nor gather the grapes of your untended vine. Okay. According to the number of years after the jubilee, you shall buy from your neighbor, and according to the number of years of crops, he shall sell to you. According to the multitude of years, you shall increase the price, and according to the fewer number of years, you shall diminish its price. For he sells to you according to the number of years of the crops. The church may be seated in all the word of God, in all the times, we can see that God, He left good commandments for mankind so the man can understand his project and walk in obedience. And the main concern for the people that left Egypt and to leave many years slavery, in a slavery, several generations and costumes were acquired for a nation that was not a nation, the Hebrews, the ones that God had a project. These people were living in a stranger land under the domination of people that do not know the God of Israel. They suffered and brought to them, God brought to them a deliverance, showing them that there will be a promised land, and there will be victory for these people, and they will conquer all the obstacles. To conquer was not easy. Was not easy. And the promise of, the, of God was, if the God pleased in you, He will give you the land. And the expression, if God pleases on you, if the hands of God is being connected to your work. So tonight we can say as well, as until here we come because the God's hands are attached to sustain us and to bring us here. The mystery was unveiled. These people were removed from Egypt to go through all the adversities and God did not save them of many struggles and sometimes God will not deliver you from several trials and struggles to give you a teaching to show you lessons and the moment now God is establishing good judgments and, and, men, and commandments God will not let the people to go back to the original position of slavery, but a life of forgiveness. And now God has established a new period called Jubilee, 
And God is teaching them how to count their days in a perfect way. So the years will be counted by God. So day after day, they'll be remembering everything that happened, understanding that God has something new for them. And one of the commandments established in Exodus through Moses was during six years, the, the people will plant and will plant and after seven years, time to time, it will call sabbatic year. The land will be produced, producing by itself. Everything that was produced that year will be for the poor. But it will be a condition that was very inter interesting. Back then, if anybody of the family, the provider, if, if he could not be there, and if there's a debitor for some reason, Sometimes he was taken as a slave and he will be working for six years and he will be in the house serving as a slave, as a servant. But after a certain time, if he reach out there with his wife, he will be li living there, serving with his wife. So if in their house, if the Lord of the house provided a, a wife for him and children, these children who stay with that family of the Lord of the house. In this law, it will be established that the, the man that was serving for six years at the seventh year, he will be free to go. He could say, I fulfill all my, I pay my my debts and now I want to be free, I want to go my way but it was, very, it was very common that because he will live in a house and if it, the house of the whole uh, the head of the household treat him well and he was satisfied after the six years the one that was entering in this house as a slave he can admit it that he was happy and he could say, I don't want to leave. When I came, I was in defeat and I did, have, did not have hope. But the days that I serve, the Lord of the house has taken care of me. So he had a choice. And this choice was not only with the head of the household. It was important to go before the society publicly and have to yell. I love my Lord. I don't want to leave this house. I want to serve my, my Lord for all the days of my life. Then there will be a sign. His ear will be pierced. And everybody that looked at him will understand. One day this man was in trials and struggles, afflictions. But he was in a house that he was well treated. He, he will have a sign, an identification. His ear will be pierced as a sign of gratitude. And tonight we can say, glorifying to our God. He, every, in each one of us, we can live our days. Servants, brethren of this church, we are living battles and struggles, daily trials. But we can say with all the, heart, the joy of our hearts, since the moment that we met our Savior in Lord Jesus Christ, He provided a place of rest. He has provided a place for us to raise our family. And many might say tonight, as children that pray tonight, we bless you, we glorify you, as for you have embraced our lives. Since the day that the Lord has given us this work of the Holy Spirit, the salvation, and all the benefits that comes with it, we can say surely for, to you that is here tonight, since the moment that we met our Lord, He always embraced us. He gave to many here an experience to have a house in the presence of the Lord. To me, pastor of this church, 
some uh, brothers that we are rejoicing to see them. And we remember the first days of our walking with the freedom that we have many years in the presence of the Lord. How good it was to see this work of the Holy Spirit. We were very youth, many years. Pastor, you, have, you must have a lot of age. Uh, I was 17 to 18, and I was introduced to this work of the Holy Spirit. So this world has no place for my life. So even now, there's no place for the youth. But the Lord has brought us to his house, to his presence. And different than what we thought that we need to do many things, serving the Lord to be slave. No, since the day that we enter in the doors of the house of the Lord, he has treated us very well. He embraced us. And he took us to the table and he let us understand that we are part of the family. And this is the feeling that we, the Holy Spirit want to bring to our minds. Because the man, when he finds the, the real deliverance, he is free. He can serve the Lord, yes, but not as a yoke, not as a slave, but with someone, as someone that has joy to serve the Lord. The church sang tonight great things the Lord has done for us. That's why we are happy. You know why the expression great things? Because the small things, you and I can do it. But the great things need to be done by God. He's the only one powerful to do. He's the only one that can do. With his great and strong arms, he has sustained us throughout the years, throughout the ages. We could say every day that is going by, Back then, the Hebrew waited six years to understand and to receive the blessing of the seventh year. So, tonight we can say, every day of our lives are days of victory and joy in the presence of the Lord. Some that are here tonight, certainly before the, the battles of life, might say, Lord, I went through several circumstances, but you have sustained me through all, all them. And we can say, brethren, the benefits that we have received from our God, we don't want to be in another place. The ones that had a, a real encounter uh, with the work of the Holy Spirit, we can say, time to time, God has renewed His mercy upon us. And we are saying to the world, as the servant that could at the end say, oh, I'm free, I'm going my way, I'm going home. But the blessing that the Lord gave to you, He will never charge back. Sometimes you come to the presence of the Lord, family, marriage. The Lord has blessed you and He never requires payment for that. But as the child, the child that prayed tonight, Lord, we want to be used to take the seed of your word. And what the Lord spoke to us in the prophetic message, the fruits, the mature fruits. The mission is to, for us to tell the world, I love the Lord. My ears are not pierced physically, but my, my soul, in my soul, my, uh, my, my life was marked by the Lord. And I know the Lord and I hear His voice. That's why we came to the presence of the Lord and we understand that many of our families or friends are recovering from health circumstances, but the ones that are conquering and are going through, we need and we want to bring to our memory whatever brings us hope to come to the presence of the Lord in our service because here the Holy Spirit is revealing Himself. The mysteries of God is being unveiled and manifested. Whoever has ears, listen to what the Lord is talking to the church. The Hebrews live this moment and when the Jubilee was the 50 years, it was counted 7 times 7, 49. So at the 50th year, it will be a special year. It was a jubilee. I don't know, I'm not sure, but if 
the if they use that expression so the jubilee expression talks about the 50 years so the hebrew count days time of seven periods of seven years and there is a, a natural order if the jubilee was yesterday so the 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 land will make it in good in stock in, in price but that 10 years the, the the land might worth less if it was 30 years after the land something that will be sold will be evaluated for less value because it was about to get close to the jubilee because everything will be ground zero and in the fifth year it was a great expectation because the trumpet players will be announcing through the city and it was a year that the family families along the years if they have lost their lands or their properties the properties will come back to the original owners it will be a great expectation of this feast because very close to the fifth year if you want to sell something the, the value was about insignificant and we want to say to you tonight in our days our days are being counted in a special way our jubilee is near our jubilee is the second come of Jesus for us we are counting our days and we know that now that is very near the operation of the Holy Spirit is latent among us day after day God has operated marvelously among us and the same work that God is operating here he is doing in Africa in Brazil and in all the places of the world and we are in one accord saying soon Jesus will come that's why we have our expectations our dreams and projects but parallel to all these our days is being counted before eternity our jubilee is there the jubilee of the church is the second come of Jesus for us prepare yourself for this moment have this experience and that's why before the circumstances that are being offered to our youth our friends we look for everything that is being proposed and we say no this has no value for me this world has no value for me because my jubilee is at the door Jesus is about to come he's at the door to rescue the church so the desire of the Holy Spirit is to renew in this desire through the Holy Spirit the Lord is showing tonight one woman that is visiting us and she is feeling the last uh, recently a heavy weight of something that the Lord has delivered her on the past the Lord has gave her the deliverance and this is coming back in your thoughts in your mind and this is causing pain do not allow the things of the past to cause a heavy yoke and stealing your time and your peace the church has only one target at this time on purpose is to be prepared waiting for the second come of Jesus the mission of this church is in, it's in the name but not only in the name but in the pulse of the life in our hearts as something latent true truthful it's established for us our victory our dreams, our targets, our purposes, we run from here to there. But eternity is ready, prepared for us. Hallelujah. Surrender your heart to the Lord tonight. Turn yourself to the Lord. And remember the time that you are living. We are living the soon. Soon Jesus will come. It can be any time any instant of our lives good will be if he comes right now and you and I we all can say come Lord Jesus Maranatha
Eu vou ficar quieto. Ele está vendo algum fome estranho. Open your lips and glorify the name of the Lord. Adore the Lord, because soon Jesus will come. We're going to give freedom for one or more people to that understand the moment of soon to glorify the name of the Lord in this moment. Thank you for this moment, and the Holy Spirit has prepared us already for this moment, O oh Lord. And thank you for being in this holy uh, path, and for everything that you have provided, taking us away from this world, and we lost. Now you brought us to the light. Blessed be your name for everything. In the name of Jesus, amen. Lord, we praise you, we glorify you, as for it's soon for us to receive the best that you have prepared for us, the eternal life, a city in heaven for us, a new, new kingdom where we're going to reign with you and where we'll no, will be no sorrows, no tears, and we'll be with you eternally. We bless you for this great blessing, for these mercies upon our lives, our lives being kept safely under the power of the blood of Jesus and for your Holy Spirit that is inhabited in us. And blessed be your name now and forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we want to glorify you. We want to bless you for this revealed word that we received tonight. Thank you for, as for as good, as, as, it is good to serve you, to be in your presence. Thank you for the sacrifice of your son Jesus Christ at the Calvary. On the cross, we adore you we, because we can feel that soon we'll be raptured. Blessed be your name for this moment that you have provided us, for this marvelous night in your presence tonight. In the name of Jesus, amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I invite the church to be standing as we approach to close the service. We want to put ourselves at your will, the ones that are visiting us tonight for prayer, for anything that we can make even more clear for all the acts of this world, of, the, of this service. In the world, we are living the final moments, and the church has no doubt about it. The signs are there. We will keep proclaiming, and many here. Sometimes you might say, this is your land, this is your country, and sometimes we, like Nehemiah, stand aside from one another, but whatever we hear, the sound of the trumpet, we're going to get together, and at the moment, at the same moment, the church will be raptured. Jesus will come. I would like to leave a word of gratitude to God that John mentioned to Gaio, the, the, the presbyter. I don't want to do it with paper and pen. Today we even don't talk about it, right? Before we used to write letters, 10 days to arrive. But John was talking about this expectation to be with the church arriving. And he mentioned with Gaio, my desire is to be with you and to see you face to face. Our joy is very great because we belong to the same work of the Holy Spirit, same family, spiritual family. We have the same Lord and to all of us He has blessed us. We don't want to have this distance. The last two years it was difficult as a letter that you send it takes too long to arrive. Now the Lord is speaking to us face to face, prophetically. He spoke through the songs, through the prophetic message, to the children. Fight to be standing in the presence of the Lord. That's why the songs of Solomon says, Kiss me with the kiss of his 
mouth, our relationship with the Lord. It's a moment to turn ourselves to the Lord. It's a moment to be ready for the second come of Jesus. Blessed be the name of God. Lord, we glorify your name for all the benefits that we have daily seated around the table that you have prepared for us. We in our generation, our sons, our children, our, the children of our children, we never give up. Our, ch our church never gives up. We're going to leave this earth, but with yours, O oh Lord. This is the promise that you have made, and your promises never fail. You are powerful to rescue and to fulfill all the projects in all the household of this church. The ones that are sick, distant, stretch out your hands, O oh Lord, and make your glory shine upon all the households and all the houses, all the families represented here. All beloveds that are not here tonight, send, O oh Lord, your right hand of companion and sustain your people until the soon we're going to see your son in the clouds. And in your name we say that the great and uncomparable love of God the Father, the marvelous grace of Jesus Christ, the one that saved us, the sweet and tender and present operations of the Holy Spirit of God can be upon us and can follow us now and forever until the second come of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. I'd like to give the word of Pastor Renildo. Pastor Kaiser is from Uberlandia. He ran from Valadares. He is from Valadares. And now he want to be sophisticated, so he says he's from Melania. There's no way to run from that route. So he's here spending some time with his wife. <laughs> How long? 35 years? What do you think? We are young in the same church. Amen. It's very good, very grateful. We're going to dismiss the, the brethren from the Zoom that will be assisted by the, the deacons that are participating there. And now here we're going to attend the present guests here. Uh, they asked us recently, the presbytery, so they can take a picture of the church. And I would like to ask El Elias to, before we assist the church before we dismiss so i'll ask the workers to sit the children also whoever is not seated here can come to sit together Falaram que a igreja é cheia, mas hoje o Toma, né, resolveram pegar folga, né, ontem estava aí, hoje de manhã, três vezes no mesmo, no mesmo final de semana é difícil, né, amém? É, não entendi, tá, 